Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back. I'm your host and guide, Chris13, and we're taking on Juno. I might have failed last time, but you can be guaranteed that is not going to happen twice. Actually, I guess I can't really guarantee that, but I can hope. I can hope it won't happen twice. Now that I can... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I got her away from that. I don't know how I did, but I did. Whoa. Nope, nope, nope. You don't... I don't... I don't think so. No, 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 that's not happening. No, aw, oh, crap, didn't move in time. Okay, where are you going to reappear? Okay, what are you doing now? More jumps? Okay. Sometimes you do that two or three... Oh, I don't like... The th worst part is, is that I can't... No, I totally jumped over that. Screw you. Screw you and your shoe. Okay, jump and jump again. That'll do it. Okay, go. All right, I think I've, I think I'm, I'm definitely doing better this time. But I also understand what he's going to do for attacks. They did say he, right? Yeah. Crap! Jump too early. Jump. Ready? Okay. Nice. That was a good attack for you to use because I was in the midst of running, so I was just able to continue. Ah. Oh. Okay. Whoa. That was. That was ballsy. I'm frick, way too early. How did that not hit me? How did... You know what? Don't question it. Just frickin' run. Hey, don't... No, stupid camera. How did you not hit me when I was staring the other way? Come on. I haven't used a single energy pack yet, and... You're halfway dead, and I'm halfway dead. And crap. Wait, no. I remember this one. Bam! And now I can shoot, 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 shoot. That's a good one for taking off a lot of your health because you stand there for a long time, just like this one. And you usually follow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's usually the follow up. Hey, are you gonna do that? No, you're going onto this. Okay, I gotta get you back in my sights. I don't know what you're doing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, jumping. I don't like that because I can't hit you. Whoa, nope, too early. Bam! And go, 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 go for damage, go for damage. Whew. All right. I think we got this this time. Because if I have a bunch of, uh... Health containers still when I come into the second part of the battle, I think I should be able to do it. Because the problem with last time is I had no health. It's not like I didn't hurt him at all. I did, I did decent amount of damage to him. I just had no health. So, we don't need to watch all that again. Let's just start the battle and... And go, 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 go. Okay, where did he go? Come on. Damage. Crap. Crap. Should have jumped. All right, get out of the way. Jump. Jump. I guess I didn't really need to jump, but... It's not like it's going to hurt me to do so. Look at this. Look at this. I'm just destroying him this time. What the hell? All right, get the hell out of there. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does. Never really figured it out. Okay, get the hell out of there again. Where'd you go? Get back here. Well, not directly back here at me, but, like, I meant out of the way back here. Like, where I could see you. Other side of the room is fine. Crap, didn't jump in time. Ah, oh, no, now I'm looking the wrong way. Oh, you missed your chance, Juno. You missed your chance. Look at this. I've used one... I've used half my health, and he's at half health, so... Ah, oh, why Why didn't I jump? Why didn't I jump? Okay, we're at half health, so if there's going to be something new you're going to do, you're probably going to start doing it fairly soon. I don't even know... Whoa, okay, whew! I don't like going this way. He seems to attack this way, so I should probably be running around the other way. Yeah, because at least that way when I come down, I can also possibly... Ah! Ah! Why are you getting so much better now? I was doing so good at the beginning. Maybe I just need to jump more. The jumping seemed to really help for some reason, as opposed to just trying to sidestep everything. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't. It doesn't seem like it should. 
Alright, but we almost got this. I don't think I need to use any more health. I can probably try and... Frick. Nope, I'm probably going to need to end up using health. I don't... What the hell are you doing? You don't get new attacks! You don't get new attacks! Not cool, not cool, not cool, what the... Frack was that? Oh, I've totally tried to shoot too many times. No, you're doing that one again. Okay, run, run, run. Just keep going, Mega Man. We got this. Just don't get hit. Okay, get the hell out of there. Ah! No, no, no. You know what? Hmm. Let's just go for damage. Okay, this is totally not gonna work. Cause I'm just gonna get hit now. That was dumb. That... I still need to dodge everything, so that invulnerability wasn't as good as I had thought it was gonna be. Kind of a waste. But who cares? We took him down! Yes! Yes! Whew. It appears I was in error assuming that a bureaucratic model such as myself would be able to best you in hand-to-hand -hand combat. However, I was successful in keeping you occupied long enough for Eden to achieve optimal altitude before you could interfere. Bureaucratic Model 3rd Class. Authorization number 8677. Requesting a reinitialization of this island system and a memory backup of its bureaucratic systems. Stop! Stop it! If you wish to shoot me, please do not hesitate. My program has already been backed up in Eden's Central Core. I eagerly await my next act division. Eden systems ready. Awaiting confirmation. Requested backup of bureaucratic model Mega Man Juno complete. Execution of Catalog reinitialization program will commence in 100 seconds. What should I do? Interrupt command. Priority command rerouted to purifier first class Mega Man trigger. Under suspension of malfunction, bureaucratic model third class Juno has been deactivated by Mega Man trigger as per ordinance 103. Mega Man trigger hereby requests the indefinite postponement of the previous reinitialization order and the deletion of bureaucratic model Juno's backup data. Trigger hereby assumes all bureaucratic authority for the district and will petition Mother for guidance at a future date. Command reroute acknowledged. Priority given to Purifier First Class's command. Eden resuming standby mode and returning to predesignated coordinates. Deleting log of Purifier First Class's correspondence as required by security ordinances. Requesting that notification to Mother be carried out by Purifier First Class Present bureaucratic authority, trip. Data? There's nothing to worry about anymore, Mega Man. Everything should return to normal shortly. Do you know who I am? I'm your peripheral memory storage device. You originally created me so your memory couldn't be scanned by Mother 2. I can't tell you anything yet, but soon I'll be able to tell you everything. What you are, why you lost your memory, your original function, and mission. Mega Man! Mega Man! Blasted contraption! It's always breaking down at the worst time! Mega Man, are you alright? <laughs> 
Yep. I'm just fine. Gramps and I were working on the radio forever, but couldn't get it to work. Mega Man, you won't believe what we saw. I'm glad these old eyes of mine lasted long enough to see it. Calm down, Gramps. He's been like this ever since... Huh? Mega Man? Are you all right? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Really. I'm sorry that I scared you. You're always running off like that, making me worry myself sick over you. But somehow, I know you'll always make it back. I have faith in you. Thanks. See you soon. Dita, let's go. <coughs> Ready? Mega Man? Ready. Tell me, do you really have to go so soon? After all you've done for us, please stay a while longer. We haven't had the chance to thank you properly. Well, it's not that we don't want to stay. It's just that we've got some unfinished business that we've got to take care of. Right? Yep. That's right. Besides, now that we've got a refractor for the flutter, it's time for us to go. If you must go... Won't you at least come to town and say goodbye to everyone? Hmm. I suppose we should at least say goodbye, eh? Hey, Mega Man, why don't you go? Give him our best! It would mean so much to everyone. Go on, Mega Man, and say goodbye to the Junkman's wife for me. Okay, I'm going. Uh... Okay, so we just, I think I'm even more confused than when I started. Am I ready to leave? Did I already say goodbye? No, I'm not ready to leave. So I gotta go talk to everybody. Okay, um, so Mega Man created Data to hold his memories because at some point he lost them. So Mega Man is going against his original programming for some reason against whatever Eden does because he doesn't want everyone to die, I guess? But we don't know what his original programming was that he's going against. And I'm guessing that... I don't need to do any more digging. Okay, that's kind of what I figured, is that there's no reason to go back down there. So I'm legitly just supposed to go wander around town and talk to people? Is... For your sidekick. Yeah, right, Jim. Yeah, it could be the low man in your gang, but I still saved this place. Uh, am I supposed to, like, go into everywhere? Or is everyone just going to be hanging out somewhere that I can just talk to them easily? Oh, you're having a baby. That's great. Okay, you don't even know that your wife's pregnant? Wait, Mega Man has a girlfriend? Is that supposed to be Roll? Alright, you and Paprika. Can I go into the junk store? Yeah, why couldn't I go into the other store, though? Right, we are a great team. Uh, 
There's still Reaver bots everywhere, man. They respawn every time I walk through. If I could get rid of them for you, I would. But I can't, man. I can't. It just wasn't working. Legitly, am I supposed to... Like, is this actually... Is this supposed to be... Is uh, I'm thinking here. Is this supposed to be like the end of the game? Is this how the ending works? There isn't actually an ending? You just wander around and talk to people for an ending? Or is, like, something actually supposed to happen? Whoops, whoops. Um, probably not, little dude. So is that it? I'm just talking to people? They're reminding me of what I did? Okay, so don't go too far. So that's... That's it? This is as legitly as far as I'm supposed to go? Into here? So that is it? I have talked to everybody? Okay, so can't go that way either. Um... It's kind of a lame ending if this was it. Actually, if it wasn't for Mega Man, you'd probably all still be alive. But you'd be dead in, uh, whenever Juno decided to wake up, assuming someone eventually did decide to wake up Juno. Because I doubt, uh, Teasel would have ever made his way there, because he's kind of a doofus. Now's not the best time to be checking out a book. Ha ha ha. Um. Right. I guess that's it. Probably not going to be allowed to go through that door. Not even going to bother. You know what? I'll check anyways, just because. Yeah. I didn't think I'd be able to, but you know, that would be that would be my luck. The one door that I don't check is the one that I can go through. So that's it. Now I just head back to roll. Make my way over there. Sure, I guess. I don't. I don't exactly know what's going. Whoa, they were all in like a line. That was that was kind of weird. Awesome, dude. I'm I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad I helped you find your money. I totally could have kept it for myself, but I didn't because I'm a good person. And. I'm guessing you can't go over this way, like, it'll, it'll get mad or something if I try and go through here. Not that it matters, you know what, there, there can't be anything important that way. I. So, we now go to the sky to face Eden or something, or... I guess it went back to space. Yeah, time to go. Thank you so much for your help. Take care of yourself. Bye. Take care. Goodbye. See you later, Amelia. Everything worked out in the end, right? Yeah. Hey, Mega Man, did something happen while you were underground? Huh? Yeah, well, not really. Don't worry about it. Well, I don't know, but... <laughs> don't ever forget that I'll always believe in you, okay? Whoa! Mega Man! Whoa! Look outside! The island! Mega Man! Okay. What is it? Whoa. Whoa, left. Left. Huh? Okay. <gasps> hey, is 
Um, what just happened? The... Uh, okay, the music kind of cropped out there, but... I guess that's it? Huh. You know, honestly... In the end, I would have to say... The game was not that bad. I did enjoy it once I kind of got used to it. Um, it's not your... I guess it's not a Mega Man game for anybody, right? It's not your normal Mega Man game. But, at the same time, it's definitely not bad. Um, if you like the Mario 64 kind of games, Legend of Zelda, you might enjoy Mega Man 64 as well. Um, if you really like Mega Man, Mega Man X kind of games, like the classic side-scrolling platformer Mega Man, I wouldn't say that means that you're gonna like this Mega Man as well, because it it is quite different in gameplay, it just kind of uses the same character, it's definitely not the same type of game in any way. It's unfortunate that I did miss a bunch of stuff because I didn't realize that there were actually holes in the wall you could look at until I was pretty much near the end of the game. I would have liked to find all of that sort of stuff. But, like I said, when I got there, there wasn't really much I could do other than go back around, try and remember every single dungeon, maybe look up a map, and like, hug all the walls, which... That would have been a bit much. I wasn't, I wasn't gonna go and do that just to get a few more items. Um, I think I got all the quests done, the side quests, the ones that I could find, unless, at least the ones I could find, the only ones that I knew about that I didn't finish are, I guess, the museum, where I'm betting that I would have found more items by looking in those holes in the wall. Um, oh, there was that cat, too, I had no idea what I was supposed to do with the cat. I didn't even, like, I completely forgot about it. I thought maybe, hey, I can go around and look, and if I'm lucky, maybe someone will say they want the cat. Oh, I did mean to actually go back to the ship and uh, see if the grandpa wanted it. Huh. Oh, well, I guess, I guess that's all out. Um, I don't know. Side quests, I guess, after a while, they, they were kind of boring. I'm not really one for fetch quests. Especially when you can't move around very fast, and you're kind of... There is no way to, like, fast travel. But... And I don't think the rollerblades really made you go that much faster. Well, actually, no, that's that's not true. The, ro the roller skates did make you go faster. They just didn't feel like you made they made you go that much faster. I think that was the problem. If they made you feel like you were actually going faster, it might have been different. But... At least the, um, the main game... Like, going through the dungeons and stuff like that. Once I kind of got into it and actually was not sucking and got used to the tank controls, like, it just be started, started to become second nature. The actual game wasn't that bad. 
at the beginning, I didn't really like them that much. It's I'm not really one for most N64 games for their controls. I find that the controller is just awkward to hold in your hand. You're thinking more about what you're doing, trying to jump, move, sidestep using the joystick. The poor camera controls. You noticed I always, I constantly forgot what each C button did. I'd go to open doors and next thing you know I'd pull up my map. So that kind of took away from the game, but I'd also put the game down, play other things, come back to it later. So the control, so they were never, the controls were never really set in my head. That kind of uh, detracted from it too, but when I would sit down and I'd do a few episodes in a row, by the time I'd get to like the second or third one, when I was doing the dungeons, not the side questing, when I was doing the side questing, I'd just get tired and not want to play anymore. But when I was doing the dungeons, um, I'd get used to the controls again and it would be fine. I'd actually be enjoying myself. And so that was good. Whoa, Breath of Fire 3 Special Rescue Team? What is. What does Breath of Fire 3 have to do with this? Huh. Maybe they came out around the same time? I don't know, I'd have to actually look that up. I don't know. And I have to say, even the music, by the time I was getting closer to the end, I was starting to notice that the music was really good, too. I was really enjoying the music, as well as everything else. Um... At first, the music was kind of meh, but that's also because a lot of areas didn't have music. It was just ambient sound, like uh, birds tweeting and other sorts of things like that. But this song in the background right now, it's okay. It's a good credit song. But some of those more, like, the heavy beat boss battles in that last, like, not the main gate, but, like, after going through it to the end, those tunes I really liked. Those ones were both really good, and I... Uh, why is it, like, lagging up? What the hell? I can't tell if this is the game or my computer or... I... Hmm. Oh, is this gonna be Tron and them? Is this their final? Well, there they go. Not a care in the world. Hey, Tron, can't this thing go any faster? No, it can't. I had to gather up all the spare parts from everything he blew up. To build this! That's right! That's right! We'll just have to rough it until we get to the next island. If we sell what we found, we'll get back what we lost, and then some! We'll live like kings! Who would have thought oh, that they took that giant refractor at the end. And all we had to do was just wander in and pick it up. I told you we'd have the last laugh. <laughs> That's assuming we make it to the next island without thinking. Oh well, at least he's in a good mood. Huh, I was wondering why we never actually ended up taking that crystal. Uh, oh, Bon. Or the, the last refractor. I guess they took it. To be, uh, seriously, to be continued, that is not a good ending. You never want to end with something like that. You can already tell that it's to be continued because of how you find all this stuff out about Mega Man, and then the game kind of ends, and that's another thing. Uh, I was actually going to point that out. I... Thank the to be continued. Totally just brought it back to my attention, but I did not like how they threw all this stuff about Mega Man to you at the end. And I was like, oh my god! So now we got to go find out all about Mega Man. How much more is there in this game? It can't be that much bigger. It's an N64 game. They can't put that much stuff in. And uh, yeah, that right there to be continued, knowing that it's going to continue in the second game. I'm sorry that that's marketing that I do not enjoy. That. That is kind of right now ruining it for me. I'm still trying to sit back and say it was a it was a good game. It was a good play, not great, but good. I enjoyed it. But that whole to be continued at the end is making me not want to play In a world covered by Mega Man Legends water. Two or 
yeah, the second one or whatever it is, because it's just, uh, it, that's not cool, guys. That's not cool. Anyways, that's it. No more Mega Man 64. I've beat the game. Told you what I thought about it. I guess all that's left to do is to say goodbye. Until the next LP, I'll see you guys.